Configure all your SIM steering wheels just once using SIM Hub's Control Mapper. Make sure you download the latest version of SIM Hub, version 9.2.6, and open settings. There, click the Plugins tab. Turn on the controller's input. Next, you'll have to download the VJoy driver and run the executable file. A fresh install of VJoy is best for this. When you get there, make sure you change the number of buttons in VJoy to 128. VJoy will then run in the background. Now, in SimHub, you check that you have VJoy and some presets. It's in the Control Mapper section. You can use the preset buttons that are suggested by SimHub, or you can delete them and start fresh. I deleted the presets, and I'm starting fresh, and you do this by clicking Assign Roles. When you click Assign Roles, you get a whole list of places to fill in the command names that you want. And you can name these names after the buttons you're going to put on your wheel. I named up to 73 buttons and I'm still finding more. Now check that VJoy is connected and you're going to click add a new source controller. You can see I've already added a few. I'm going to now look at adding my Forte wheel. You can see it's connected. Click to open the controller to map buttons. We're going to work on the Forte wheel. Forte wheel mapping. Now you'll see your wheel buttons. You'll see a list of the commands that you made earlier. Click each one and press the button on your controller. I've gotten down to the talk button. It's mapped to button 10 on my controller. And this is the button that I'm going to press to map it in SimHub. When you finish the mapping for each controller, you can test the mapping. Press the button on your wheel and a red circle will appear in the output mapping and in the controller mapping. Here the talk button is red. In this example, full service is red. I applied the same mapping method to my Apex button box. There are less features mapped here because there are fewer buttons on the button box. To sync SimHub with your controller, click the blue bar, open the Mapping Assistant on my phone. You'll have to scan the QR code with your phone's camera. And you'll get this. The scan will open the SIM Hub Control Mapper on your phone. You will be selecting the matching green tab each time you configure your controller when you're in the SIM. So here we are in iRacing. Select Options as Normal. This is where you normally map buttons. Do not use the Wheels buttons to map now. You will click the green tabs on your phone. For example, here's the gearbox upshift. Click gearbox when prompted for upshift controller input. Select gear up on the phone control mapper. Do not click the shifter on your wheel. Repeat this process for all the mapping you wish for the controller. Remember to always select the green Simulate tab on your phone SIM Hub Control Mapper. Do not click any buttons on your wheel. I will now repeat the entire mapping process for my second steering wheel. Elemental Pro VPG. Add a new controller. Select the controller that is recognized by SimHub. This is the one you now have plugged into your computer. There it is. It's connected and we're now going to 
open it up and we'll see there's nothing in there mapped so we're going to map the controller and we're going to go through the various items that we want to choose we choose these buttons assignments and we choose which ones we want to map on the wheel you can use the same assignments and or different ones on each wheel or controller any combinations you want choose only the ones you want to map to the controller unused functions can be assigned at another time to other controllers important you can assign a single function to multiple controllers do not make any repeats in your original list of commands for example the gear shift up can be used on one or more wheels you do not need to have separate gear shift up outputs in SimHub. you just use the same one over and over for each wheel that you do Note that in this step, I am actually selecting and pressing the buttons on my wheel. I don't have to use all of these. I just select the ones that I want to use on this steering wheel. Now you'll see I've done my button assignments for the VPG wheel. And I have about 30 buttons assigned. Now when I go into iRacing, I go through my mapping in the SIM. We're now mapping with the SIM Hub control mapper that is on your phone. For upshifting, do not pull the shifter on your wheel. Instead, you just press the shift up on your phone SIM hub control mapper. For the tow or exit button, again, do not click the button on your wheel. Press the green tab on the phone SIM hub control mapper. And then repeat this for the SIM assignments that you made. And I think we said we had 30 of them that we wanted to do. So we'll just go through that quickly now. And there we go. We've mapped a wheel. Here's a video summary of the process. Settings, plugins, control mapper. Make your assignments. You can see quickly which controllers are connected. You can click on any one of them and open it up to see which buttons you have mapped or 
would like to map or would like to add as additional mappings or delete for that matter. If we have a new controller, we will add a new source controller, the blue box in the middle right. Here we're just checking our Elemental Pro VPG steering wheel. Again, we said we had about 30 things mapped. Then we go into iRacing. And we have to load up a session. So I'll just load up an AI session here quickly. I will fast forward the loading process to save time here. In iRacing, we will map our SIM hub control mapper buttons to the options inside of iRacing. And we do that by opening the control mapper on our phone, opening options in iRacing, selecting the function we wish to map, and then we will click it and instead of pushing any buttons on our steering wheel, we will press the green simulate buttons on the phone control mapper, and we can go through and map all of our 30 buttons. In total, I will map four wheels, one shifter, and one button box, and my stream deck in iRacing using the SimHub control mapper. And as a bonus, let's see how we can use the SimHub Control Mapper with Stream Deck.
0.62. Gallons more per lap. As your target burn per lap is 2.739. One car approaching. None behind. Delta time ahead over five laps. 17.94. Oval high rating of none for number four. Prepared our racing data. Welcome to Streets of Chicago in USA.
10, 9, 8, 7, 6, 5, 4, 3, 2, 1. Lockwood leads. approaching. No driver found. Clear.